around this killing shit, hands down. hands down. If you got a problem with me, say it now. Cause I don't wanna hear no sneak dissing. Huh? Especially not from one you weak bitches. My mom go like, I don't see no stoplights. I'm stepping out every day, prom night. So if it's all love, show me love then. Cause you ain't on the bitches, what it sound like. Beat, mo, it's how I give it up, nigga. Hoodie, no, it's how I'm pulling up. Just cause I've been on the road, don't mean I've been on the. What's up, what's up, what's up? Sorry, it's been a while. As y'all can see, I'm still recording from my phone. Um, so this video is going to be about quitting smoking. Yeah. So anywho, I just been busy working and, you know, working on my journey as far as pre-op instructions still. Um, trying to quit smoking. Um, tomorrow is the official day that I am going to quit. I have quit before, but I started back up and I smoked even more than I was smoking before I quit. It was really, really tough. Um, a lot of things happen. Life happens. So, um, yeah, a couple things I can say about, um, Putting smoking uh, to try and help you guys out uh, would be just make sure you want to and just make sure you're ready because yeah it, it's just tough it just is what it is in the smoking department and even my surgery sister is just like it's just tough trust me uh, especially if you smoke weed um, you rely on it to relax and get you through see my eyes I'm tired I have work at 6 a.m. it is now 10 31 I should have been sleep but yeah whatever <clears throat> so yeah I just been MIA I just been working and like I said pre-op conditioning um, so as far as quit smoking yeah that's just it I had a whole video plant for quitting smoking, but it didn't work like that, you know? So I just had to keep it real and, you know, I'm a work in progress. Um, as soon as I accomplish quitting fully, um, I will do an update video on that. But as of right now, I'm just gonna be starting and I didn't wanna make any more videos until I quit and do the smoking video successfully but yeah it's trying and i have 52 days left before surgery my goal was to quit four months pre-op so i'm looking at a month and a a month and tw a month and 20 days clean before surgery so i mean it's good because they only tell you to quit smoking a month before but my goal was four months pre-op um i have slowed down a lot and i quit for periods of time so i mean it's better than just smoking the whole way through so our next topic is gonna be um my pre-op body um i know everybody's dying for my pre-op pictures i may uh go ahead and insert some pictures at the end of this video um I don't know. I would have to um, edit them and see if I could stick them in, depending on the length of the video. If not, I'll do a short video tomorrow after work and take, you know, some pictures and try to use an app to, like, edit, you know, private parts out and all that good stuff. But um, pre-op body. So, you guys know I had to gain weight. You probably see it all in my face, too. Um, I had to gain weight in order to, well, I didn't have to. I wanted to gain weight in order to ensure my um, results. So I started out at 149. I am 169 today. I checked before I started the video, which is a good 20 pounds. Um, that was my goal in the beginning. My goal was 5 to 10 pounds. Um, so I'm... I'm happy with my gaining weight results. However, I've been taking a uh, Pedamin 
to help me gain weight and I have to stop that in 20 days. So I'm gonna go really, really, really hard to gain an extra, cause I've been like hovering at 169 for like two months. I've been taking a Peterman, not four months straight, but I started trying to gain weight four months pre-op. So um, I gained, I think 10 pounds fairly quick. And then <clears throat> the other 10 was like sporadic throughout the couple months. And then it just, I've been hovering at 169. So I want to try to get to like 175, 180. That way when I stop taking a Peterman to help me maintain my weight or gain weight, um, if I lose weight, I'll still have that 20 extra pounds of well, I can't say 20 extra pounds of fat because it's probably not all fat, but I'll have that extra fat to offer. Um, also, I did stop taking a Peterman for, I want to say, a month and a half. And I just started back up like two days ago because I wanted to see um, when stop taking it, if I would gain weight. Uh, fair, I mean lose weight fairly quickly or if I would stay at my weight I was 171 so I have lost about two pounds um, within that time um, what else let's see overall um, I've seen a lot of results in my health as far as pre-op conditioning I think I was just telling somebody the other day, like, I want to, a lot of us, we go hard, <clears throat> excuse me, we go hard uh, pre-op because we want to make it out of surgery alive and healthy, and we want to ensure our results, and sometimes we go hard for the first couple weeks post-op, however, uh, I noticed that, you know, once, like, three to six months post-op, people kind of just, you know, go back to normal life. And um, I was just telling, I think one of my surgery sisters the other day, like, I kind of like this feeling, especially when I quit smoking. Um, my appetite, um, my body just feels so clean and pure as far as cutting out certain things and taking vitamins every day. Um, I haven't been sick since I've been taking the vitamin C. Everybody in my house got sick really, really, really bad. And the only thing I got was like a slight fever. Um, so it just goes to show like it pays off taking all the vitamins. And uh, I probably won't take as many. I definitely want to continue the vitamin C. Like I don't think it would harm me to take it for the rest of my life. Um, probably not every single day, but you know, just staying up on daily vitamins and things. And then of course, um, post-op, you know, everybody wants to work out to help their results along the way after, you know, you heal and everything. So just everything, starting this journey, um, in the beginning, it was just like, I want surgery. You know, I'm tired of looking at my body this way. Then starting the journey, um, getting pre-op instructions, it was like, damn, that's a lot. And then starting the actual pre-op instructions, feeling the way your body changes and becomes healthy and, you know, more energy and everything. You know, I just, I feel like after surgery, I just really want to go hard and I want to stay that way for the rest of my life because it's worth it. I learned a lot in this journey, you know, like I said, starting out, it was, my mind wasn't there. I've always said I wanted to get healthier. You know, we all do that. And then we don't have the motivation to do so with work and home and life. And so surgery kind of forces you to get yourself together, get your life. And now that I got my life, I don't want to let it go again um, for no reason at all. So yeah, um, what else? Pre-op body. 
I've even noticed that um, my period is like healthier, if that makes any sense. Like my bl the the blood, excuse me, uh, TMI, but the blood is it, it kind of looks healthier. It, it doesn't look like waste completely. My skin, um, my face, you can't really tell on here, but my face, I've always struggled with acne and things, so my face has been clear. People have been saying, oh, you're glowing. And so, you know, I give the thanks to God first and then pre-op secondly because it, it, it definitely changes you, you know. And in a sense, I've been humbled by it, you know. I don't know about everybody else in their journey, but... It definitely humbled me a lot and um, like I said I just want to continue this like it helped me to um, be confident surgery that is helped me to be confident beforehand a lot of people say you get to surgery to build confidence but in all actuality when going through uh, this journey you start realizing certain things and I realized that um, it's helped me already so far, you know, being more confident. Like, when you say, okay, just say before you even start pre-op or surgery or anything like that, you're you're basically like, we hide our body, you know, we put on body shapers and things like that. Well, when you know you're getting surgery, you start to like, I don't want to say not care, but I, I that's for me. In my opinion, you start to not care about how you look because you're like, huh you know yeah i'm fat now or you know i'm out of shape now but wait till you know after surgery so if it makes sense it built my confidence beforehand which was a good thing because i firmly believe that surgery doesn't fix you you gotta fix yourself within first and then the outside just is complements what's in the inside so yeah uh, my confidence has been built up in this journey because you know i can see myself and then i even uh said to myself the other day like mm, i wonder if i'm gonna miss this body you know like nah <laughs> nah i won't miss it but or miss the old me or if i'm not am i gonna change um afterwards so definitely thinking a lot um pre-op 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 it, it does something to you like I said I've been thinking a lot and um, one of my best friends the other day you know she was like I hope that this doesn't change you for the worse um, I hope that you don't end up being like one of the cocky ones like cocky in a bad way not cocky in a good way and I'm like I don't think I have that in me you know I'm just me and I continue to be me um, I don't think I will let surgery go to my head because it's it's basically only for me. It's not like I'm going to be advertising my body all over the world and all over the internet and, you know, just being slutty because I got a new body. No, it was just, the surgery is for me solely. So I don't think much is going to change except for I'm going to look good in a bathing suit or, you know, in a dress or a nice fitted shirt or whatever. Nice jeans bow bow <laughs> so yeah um that's all i got for you guys for right now as far as um my pre-op body like i said i'm gonna try to insert some pictures in in the end of this video um i also want to say i thank you guys for supporting me um everybody who does and watched all of my videos and subscribed and liked my videos i really really greatly appreciate it um like i said it's boring now um, in the beginning and I haven't been on much um, because life has been happening um, but everything's set for surgery everything's ready to go I got my plane ticket I got my um, what do you call that thing my passport recovery home my nurse my doctor my date everything is good to go I'm just counting down the days um, which 52 days is not a long time, especially with it being around the holidays. So we're going to be getting there fairly soon. Uh, when I do go in 
or not into surgery, but when I do fly out and get like, so maybe the week before surgery, I'm probably going to start vlogging more, um, like really, really intense because it's going to be a lot of things happening. Um, I do know that February 8th is my initial appointment to see my PCP, to get my clearance letter and to get my final hemo. So I'll probably do a video that day just to update on that. And, um, yeah, like I said, the, the week before surgery, I'll probably be going hard with the vlogging just to, you know, let you guys in, um, take you guys with me. I'm definitely vlogging the whole experience. So when I get to the airport, all the way to the DR, all the way to labs and all that good stuff, um, yeah, because I don't think I will be posting that much. I mean, I may post on Instagram, you know, a couple short posts, but mostly I'm putting everything on YouTube. Um, that way, I just edit, upload the video, and you guys could just have at it. Um, but this video is way too long, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Like I said, I, I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you enjoy my videos. I hope you take something away from my videos. Um yeah and i'm gonna see you guys later don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and um show some love for your girl mahala Chocolate, just how I like it. Promise I won't bite it. I see you get excited when I put this tip inside it. I like the way you write it. I show me it look like siren. Just like five oh, I got five oh. Just like domino. I put the bitch, I put her eye. I tell her domino. You know it's time to go. Pull up on bourbon, I might drop the top. Drop it.